Good evening. It's Thursday, February 21 here in Cebu City. I'm Marian Baring and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. San Fernando Mayor Lacambini Riluya has put out a 2.2 million bounty on the killers of her husband and two trusted aides. Here's Romain Rivera for the details. A 2.2 million peso bounty on the killers of San Fernando Association of Barangay Council's president, Ricardo Reluya Jr., and two other municipal employees has been put out by San Fernando Mayor Lacambini Reluya. The mayor faced the press for the first time Thursday since the January 22 ambush in Talisay City. Reluya said the money was raised by her family and friends. She also provided numbers where people may call to disclose any information that may lead to the arrest of the mastermind of the ambush. Reluya also said that she has no plans of withdrawing from the 2019 elections. Even more so, the ambush incident motivated her to pursue her candidacy. Earlier this week, the police regional office in Central Visayas granted Reluya's request for police escort for the campaign period. Romain Rivera, Newsbits Tonight. The Cebu City Police Office said that the pronouncement of President Rodrigo Duterte that Ashley Abad was the source of ecstasy will not affect the investigation on the case. Here's Justin Vistil for the details. Cebu City Police Office Director Ruina Garma said the pronouncement of President Rodrigo Duterte on Wednesday that Ashley Abad was the source of ecstasy will not affect their investigation on the case. Duterte said in a speech Wednesday in Malacanang that forensic results from Ashley's cell phone show that Abad was exchanging messages with another girl regarding the party drug. It was also found out that Abad reserved one tablet of ecstasy for her boyfriend, Nell Spencer Chu. Garma said, however, that this claims that have any effect on the CCPO's investigation. She also did not deny Duterte's pronouncement. Garma said their investigation is now coming to a close, adding that in the next few days, they will file a case. Justin Vistil, News Bits Tonight. President Rodrigo Duterte has signed into law a measure expanding employed women's maternity leave from 60 to 105 days. Here's Romain Rivera for the details. President Rodrigo Duterte has signed into law the expanded maternity leave the palace confirmed Thursday. Although the palace has yet to release a copy of the newly signed law, Executive Secretary Salvador Miguel Diaz said Duterte signed it Wednesday. The law guarantees all working mothers with 105 days period of paid maternity leave credits, seven days of which are transferable to fathers. Working mothers may opt to extend their leave for an additional 30 unpaid days, while single mothers are granted an additional 15 days. Prior to the enactment of this law, working women were entitled to 60 days of paid leave for normal delivery and 78 days for cesarean delivery. Those who do not impose the expanded maternity leave to employees will be penalized with around 20,000 pesos. Charlie Coronel, Newsbits Tonight. Entertainment News with Romain Rivera. High-spirited Pinoy fans welcomed Miss Universe 2018 Catriona Gray with a homecoming parade Thursday afternoon. Riding on a love-inspired float, Catriona paraded the streets of Metro Manila starting from Sofitel Hotel Grounds Manila and ending at Ayala Avenue, Makati. Employees of establishments where the parade passed by briefly went out of the streets to catch a glimpse of the fourth Miss Universe from the Philippines. Catriona did not disappoint her fans as she gave her all in interacting with the people who waited for her. Various social media platforms were then flooded with photos and videos of Catriona alongside proud statements from the ever-supportive Filipino fans. Welcome home, Catriona. Romain Rivera, Newsbits Tonight. To get the latest, visit sunstar.com.ph or follow us on our social media accounts on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Marian Baring, good evening.